Curious Kellen. Today I want to show you how to play Meet Me in the Hallway by Harry Styles. Let's take a look. So I wanted to learn how to play this song on the guitar and the tutorials out there are good, especially if you're trying to play a rhythm part for this song, but none of them really seemed to capture the sound that I was looking for and the sound that I was hearing in the song, uh, particularly during the chorus section. It just really didn't seem to match up correctly. So I kind of figured out my own version here. It's not precisely correct, but I feel like it sounds a little bit more like the actual song than some of the tutorials out there. So let's just hop right into it and I will show you how I play this song. Okay, so as far as the verses go, you're going to be using these two chords, E minor and A. Now this song is in drop D tuning, which means you tune your E string down to a D instead of an E. So when we play an E minor, we're putting our uh, first finger, second finger, and third finger on the second fret of the sixth, fifth, and fourth string. So we're just making that E minor shape. And then the beginning of the song has a strumming pattern that goes like this. Now in between those, you're going to be playing what I believe is an E minor seven and an A seven. Now all you're doing is for the E minor seven, you're putting your pinky, same, same notes, but you're putting your fourth finger on the third fret of the second string. And then for the A7, you're just taking your second finger off. So this third string is now open. And what that sounds like when, when you're putting them together uh, is, is this. seems confusing or difficult you can go look at some of the other videos on the on, on the internet there's plenty of other good stuff especially for the verses the verses are very similar uh, across all the tutorials so if you're looking for something a little bit more in depth or something a little bit simpler you can go ahead and look at that now the most important part of this song is of course the chorus so I'm going to play what that sounds like uh, for you right now and I'm going to play it along with the song because I can't really sing it at the same time as playing it because the parts are so different from each other and the, the timing doesn't really match up super easily. If you really want to, you can learn how to sing along with this. I just haven't quite memorized the lyrics and, and gone through that due diligence to make sure that I can sing it at the same time. So I'll play for you what it sounds like right here. this shape right here and I'm moving it up and down the neck of the guitar. So all I'm doing is putting my uh, second finger on the second fret of the sixth string and my third finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Now it starts open and I'm just playing the, the lowest three strings here and it goes like this. So what we have is it goes on that shape starts on the second it moves up to the fourth and then it goes all the way up to the seventh so oh. and then it goes here and this has my first finger on the fifth fret uh, on the fifth string of the second fret and my third finger is on the uh, third string fourth fret and I'm muting the fourth string uh, in between. So this is on the third string, fifth string, fourth string is muted. So all together. 
and then it goes. So you're just playing a D and then back to E minor seven. So. so that's that first part. Uh, and then for the second part, it goes. So it's that exact same shape and you're starting open again and you're going second, fourth, seventh, fourth, second, zero, zero, open, open. So again, nice and slow. It repeats that again. that section twice and then it moves to the part where he's gotta get better I gotta get better and that is very similar to the part that we just learned it goes just like this and then it just repeats that and then it plays this part so all together exact same as that first part but instead of playing this D and E minor it just plays this first section again and it repeats that twice so it repeats the first part twice and then it repeats the second part twice and then it goes back into the verse so for the bridge section or the solo, uh, the backing for that is just C and A. So it goes. And then I just play a C. I don't really know what uh, chord is going there. Uh, I think on some of the tabs, it's an F uh, or an F sharp minor. I'm not really sure. I don't think it really matters all that much. Uh, but for, for this section, uh, it's just... And what I'm doing there is on that C, I'm taking my first finger off because I can hear that's what he's doing on the, on the album. So nice and slow. right back into your same verse progression directly after the solo which goes like this and then the last chord of the song is it just plays an A and lets that ring out Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you need some more help on this song or if I haven't been clear. This is my first time really making a guitar tutorial for a song. And I'm not, again, 100% sure that this is the correct way to play it, but I still think it sounds a little bit more like what the song sounds like than some of the other tutorials. So let me know if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me and uh, how I can make this video better. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like this video helped you or you liked listening to the guitar or you just enjoyed the video in general, please leave a like and subscribe if possible. I love seeing new subscribers. This channel is still fairly small despite it having been around for a little while. Uh, and I hope to kind of build up my subscriber base. Uh, but of course that just takes time and I'm, I'm totally okay with that. But if you feel like you're up for it, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to post 
content more regularly, uh, particularly about language learning and music. But if you have something that you want me to talk about, please just let me know. I, I would love to talk about it. So thank you so much again for watching. Stay curious, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.